welcome to Tabletop CP. In our first update for the 14th Infantry Project, along with uh, quick paint and build plan. So, start off with the um, update. It's been a couple weeks since we did the last one, or the initial uh, plan video. This has been busy times here in the Nerd Cave, but I have been getting some painting done. First thing I painted was a group of line infantry. So these are the plastic guys. And a pretty simple color scheme. I think they'll go pretty quick. A variety of poses from the plastic Perry box. So there's the first of five groups complete. And I've also gotten three cavalry, probably 90% done. Maybe more, really. All I have left to do is the bases. But um, again, with the cavalry, they just they take a long time. So um, I've been chipping away at these guys um, th over the last couple of weeks, and I've got them to this stage finally. So I think that they look pretty good. They have the I put as much yellow on them as I could. I don't know if they really had this much yellow, but uh, I've seen pictures with the yellow stripe on the blanket and the yellow stripes on, on the cuffs and the yellow on the uh, collar. As the line troops go, um, I tried to mix it up a little bit just by adding some different colored blankets. Uh, there's really only two color blankets that I found in my research, and that's sort of a dark gray blanket. And then they had this kind of khaki looking blanket as well. So I'm going to throw a few of those in um, just to add a little bit of variety as these guys are going to look, uh, <laughs> they're going to look identical. And that, there's no getting away from that with the Union Army. So I'll try to add as much variety as I can and where I can. So for the build plan, now this is my next group here that I built. These are the Perry Metals. So I got six of the Perry Metals with the backpacks. And I'm not really sure. I think the, the backpacks are a black or really dark gray color. So these guys are going to be a marching pose. I had to add a couple of the plastic marching poses in to make a full group. But this group will be running this formation, or this configuration, sort of marching in with their packs. Maybe the last guys in the line. So the plan, if you watched my uh, Stonewall Brigade project, you know that I don't like to build everything all at once. Uh, the reason I don't like that is it seems to get a little overwhelming for me to just look over and see dozens and dozens of unpainted guys all built and ready to be painted. So just through the years, I found that if I start building the next group that I'm going to uh, paint when I'm about halfway done with the previous group that I'm working on, that that creates a good workflow for me. Um, that just works for me. Some people prefer to build everything, and that's fine. Uh, personally, though, I don't like to do that. Just a personal thing. Nothing, uh, nothing against it. It's just uh, not something I like to do. So um, I will paint these guys. And another thing I'd like to do is kind of mix in other types of units uh, in between line groups. So I've got five line groups. And in between the, each line group, I'll do either some cavalry. I'll do some skirmishers. i got those sharpshooters. i got other skirmishers to do. i got the command group. And, of course, there's always the cavalry and then the cannon. So I'll sprinkle those in between the line groups and maybe do a couple in a row because I don't know if I have enough line groups to um, separate, to do... Uh, different type of troops in between every line group. So for painting, uh, paint plan, uh, I've done a lot of research on these and uh, this is the scheme that I've come up with. So the, um, the the coats I'm going to use, dark Prussian blue, seems to be kind of a, stand, a standard color for uh, a lot of people have mentioned that color and I've used it and I like the way it looks. And I'm going to be adding some regular Prussian blue in with that as the highlight. For the pants, I have decided to go with deep sky blue. So I don't know, this might be a little bit too bright, um, but I like the way it looks. Johnny did his and these and his guys in these colored pants, and I like the way they pop. So it may be a little bit of artistic license there, but I do like this, and I think it makes them stand out a lot compared to the color I was going to use, which is like a, a light blue gray. But that didn't uh, it didn't pop, and it probably was more accurate, but. I like the way this looks. So that's the pants and the uh, uh, coats and the hats and then the boots, hat bills, just black. Um, yeah, so the, uh, the canteens, this is that other color I was going to use for the pants. And another reason I didn't use it is I didn't have enough of it to do a full army of pants. So I just went uh, with that deep sky blue, but I am using that 
uh, US blue gray color for the canteens and then the canteen straps are going to be um, using stone gray for those could use an off-white but I'm gonna go with stone gray and let's see what else do we got on these guys the muskets that's just my standard mahogany brown I use for every rifle and every period I've ever uh, painted and then the blankets I already mentioned those so we're gonna have a dark gray blanket probably most of them are going to be that color and then I am going to have a few of them sprinkled in with this uh, khaki uh, colored blanket and then there's the haversack and where is the black haversack there we go so most of the black most of the haversacks are going to be this black color I did these in black and highlight them with black gray but I think I'm going to do the all of the leather like the cartridge box the belt and all those type of things in black and use a black gray for the haversack from now on but I'm also going to mix in a few off-white haversacks again just for some uh, variety in these guys as they are all very much the same I'll do it that's just a quick update and my paint and build plan so uh, you've probably heard it all before if you watch the Stonewall project but uh, these guys are a little bit different and they're going to be quicker to paint than the uh, Confederates were as they're all the same and it's just easier to do assembly line uh, method with uh, troops that are all identical than it is with a ragtag bunch of rebels. So I'll do four at a time, paint them up to completion, and then start the next four. That's just the way I do it. I don't like to do all eight, all eight at once. That's quite a bit. So I usually do four at a time to completion and then finish them up um, and then build the the next group that I'm going to paint in about in between the two four group <laughs> in between the two groups of four that I'm going to paint so uh, with that we're going to go ahead and call this one uh, just a quick update so uh, uh, it's progressing and the work is continuing continuing here in the nerd cave even though we've been quite busy but uh, the process of completing this army will continue until it's done and we will do another battle report at the end uh, with my forces against each other and I look forward to that day. So uh, until then, uh, keep looking out for these updates, and we'll see you next time.